Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Mori Plays a Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom on the Nintendo Switch. It's episode 3, so thank you so much for being here again today. And we're going to continue with the adventure around Hyrule. And so far, we have kind of, I don't know if we've done the first dungeon or what, but we've kind of made our way down the first route and we've kind of learnt a whole bunch of echoes that we can use alongside our exploring um so yeah we're i guess we're making our way through the game we've got a few waypoint markers for fast travel if we so wish and now we have kind of two areas where we can go to we can head over here or we can head over here to these other two way markers there i think it's a choice i'm sure we can head west or continue north um so i guess we'll just have to do a little bit of exploring and see where we go first i think we're just going to head to the closest one to be honest um but yeah super fun game so far reminds me a lot of course link's awakening but so many elements of more recent zelda games like breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom so yeah let's check out what this poster is it, that's gotta be zelda right uh wanted princess zelda if sighted send word to the king of hyrule Wow, they got posters up pretty quickly. We are wanted, of course. <laughs> uh, we escaped prison. So, I don't know. Are we heading north already? Um, I think we should head over. Yeah, we head to uh, Southorn Village is where we kind of came from. So, I'm going to check around here to make sure we're not missing anything. So, there's some moblins over there. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty... You could just kind of go anywhere you want to. This is going back to the village where Link lives, isn't it? So let's just make our way up here and we could even climb these trees and get up to the ledge but we might as well go around and cut the grass um but yeah thank you so much for being here i really appreciate you choosing this channel to check out the latest um zelda if you're also playing please let me know how you're getting on and if you're enjoying it get him i'm not very good with the targeting system but we're kind of we're working it out we can have four bats now, by the way. I don't know why it's... Oh, there we go. We finally got him. There's lots of moblins around here. Oh, what is that? Um, why can't I spin? Oh, it's because I picked up a bat. <laughs> okay, we probably should... Oh! Oh, it's chasing us! Bats, get it! We need to learn its echo. That is a creepy spider! Okay, it doesn't seem to be... I don't know if uh, anything is attacking it or not. The bats aren't that good, to be fair. There we go, we got it. And we can learn the ability. So I think now we're going to make our way to a new area. And we're just going to explore along the way. So we might take a little bit longer than some other people because... We like to check every corner, every shadow, every potential cave and secret. A spidery monster that does not spin webs, but does walk on walls and ceilings. Does that mean we can walk on walls and ceilings? <laughs> as easily as flat ground. Cool, that's definitely going to come in handy. I'm going to keep checking the map here, because this looks like... Yeah, this is a dead end. Do you know what? We should probably just... Should we get another... Our moblins aren't very good. Let's get this thing out. Yes, fight our dark nut thing. I've forgotten its name. Is that the right name? It's going for it. it takes so long to, to kind of hit anything, though. Okay, that's more of a defensive thing, I think. Uh, let's let's just stick with the fire. Is always a good one. There we go. I, did, I thought we missed all together there. So we're going to take it out. Nice. Um, there we go. That caught on fire as well. Must remember to aim. Ooh. Oh my goodness. There we go. Right. Okay, so another thing we can apparently do, thank you for letting me know, is we can take a little rest in our bed and recoup some hearts. I don't know if we get full hearts here or... Yeah, it looks like it's going up sort of half a heart, is it, maybe at a time? 
Um, yeah, so as long as we can stay in bed, this wouldn't be very useful during a boss battle, but it's definitely useful on a journey like this where we're just taking out random enemies and trying to learn echoes and trying to cut all the grass in case there's any secrets. Um, we haven't come across any, like, hidden secrets yet. Every everything's been quite obvious, like cave doors, ladders, everything like that. So, how cool that we can make an echo of a bed and use it to sleep in, though. And just like that, we have four hearts. Nice. But it doesn't appear to be anything here. I think if we wanted to, we could get up there. But it does look like a bit of a new area, so we won't check that out too much. Anything in here that's gonna... Oh, there's a heart piece! Okay. Let's see if we can get to a heart piece. Okay. I wonder, actually, if it's best to just make a bunch of bridges. Like this, there we go. And then from here, let's see. Oh, oh no. Oh yes, we can make four now. Uh, oh no, I wish we could change which one is going to uh, get deleted next. The bed is definitely the most useful because it's we can jump on it. It's only one tile high, but it's two tiles wide, so it's very good for bridges and stairs. You got a piece of heart, like four, and your maximum number of hearts will increase. There we go. That's pretty cool. Okay, I think we are going to head west. Um, ooh. I... Ooh. Haha, -ha, you did that to yourself! Oh! Even on fire, it's still running after us. Bet you can't come in the water, though. Oh, there's another chest. Oh! Chest here, okay. We need to get one of those Octorok things. But we'll do that in a second. We've got, uh... Ow. Oh my goodness! that? How are they getting us through walls? Um, okay, I'm not the best explorer in the world. There we go. We got it there in the end. That's all that matters. And we've got 10 portions of rock salt. Very good. Very useful, I'm sure. Um, now, what's best to get these things? The bat's going to attack attack them? Oh no! Okay, good. We got one. Um, trying to dive down here. Oh, dive down to A. <laughs> okay, that's going to be good. Octorock Echo is going to be good for enemies in the water. Found in and around water, this octopus-like creature spits small rocks at its enemies. With impressive range. Okay, let's. We're heading west. I don't know if we need to cut all this grass, but we probably will if we want to find like rupees and stuff. Uh, we've got quite a lot, nearly 300. Oh, looks like we're entering sort of new terrain here. But I'm, I, it's cool that there's the kind of a linear story, but I also like um, oh, it took up rupees. Get it. Get back here. Okay, there we go. How are we going to... Oh, it's on the thing! Is it coming down? It's stuck on the... thing, I think. Um, oh, this is tricky. There we go. I just grabbed it in the air. <laughs> Um, Crow Echo, roosting in the high, uh, high up spots, this bird monster swoops down to steal people's rupees. We learned that the hard way. 
I think we even lost some rupees, to be honest. Right, what's that? Another little bird. So lots of areas to explore. So we do like to explore things. That's a suspicious rock, if I ever saw one. Um, we need a we need a better flying creature. I wonder if the will the crows attack the crows? Get the crow! Okay, good. Right, we're gonna have to collect our rupees again because it keeps stealing them. Okay, interesting. How are we gonna... I wish we could favor it some uh, echoes. A Coric? <laughs> oh no, a toilet! I always think it looks like a toilet. You got a mite crystal. You can use it to enhance. Oh yeah. So I only thought we got those from defeating bosses, but I guess not. It's so crazy to me that we can get everywhere. Like, what's this? Not getting past that. Oh, someone blocking our way. This is heading in a whole new direction. We totally got past it. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. This oh, interesting cave. We have to enter a cave when we see one, though. I wonder if it's gonna be a fairy cave. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, spider. Um. Uh oh. Oh wow. Um. We've got no hearts, hardly. Um, okay, I guess we're going to have to take a rest. This is going to come in super handy. I wish I'd have known this earlier. Thank you so much for sharing me that little tip and trick. Uh, but it will delay things a little bit because it does take some time. I kind of feel like if they're going to do this, they may as well just instantly fill your hearts anyway. Because as long as you're in a safe space, that's what you're going to do anyway. And you've got to get the hearts no matter how much time it takes. So... We need to think of a way to climb the wall here. We don't, it's pretty tricky. We've only got four items that we can use to climb wall. I don't think we're going to get up that high. Unless, of course, we can use um, this thing. I wonder if we can use that inside. No. Okay, so we can't use that necessarily. Let's just start with the bed and see where we get to. We might be okay with a trampoline. Um, because what we could do is from here maybe put there. Does that help us at all? Um, not really. Which one's going next? The other bed. <laughs> Oh. So if we could use a trap, I'm sure there's going to be a way to do this so we get up a little bit higher each time. Maybe. Like this. <laughs> it doesn't work. I, I I mean, it probably does work. There's got to be a way up here. Uh, let's see. We need to put some beds down. Nope, that doesn't work. Um, what if we... Do something like this. So close! As soon as we do this, though, it's going to leave, isn't it? Um, 
I feel like we're getting so close. It's a, it's a, oh. It's a shame we can't put anything underneath it. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, I don't think we can get up there. I mean, th there might be a way. I feel like it's so close to doing it. Um, it's just nice just to try and figure things out, though. Oh, I don't know. We can't lift it either. No, we give up. We'll have to come back here when we've got more um, tries. It's fun to experiment though, because we could have got there early. Um, but this is going to take us in the wrong direction. I think we definitely need to head this way. So I'll head back into the mountains. I, I wouldn't have even gone that way if I hadn't have said, you can't pass. I was like, I want to prove it wrong. Right, we're back to where we need to be anyway. I think. We get lots of rupees from the crow as well. Is that our crow? I can never tell which is our crow or not. But yeah, it's definitely fun experimenting. More rupees that we're going to get stolen from us. 50 rupees. I'm assuming this is going to take us to some kind of dungeon. This is so cool! I hope we don't get stuck here. This takes us back to the village. How cool that we can kind of... It's like there's no boundaries to the game. Oh, wow! <laughs> We're right back at the start. I like being able to get everywhere. This is so neat. And weird. There's got to be something up here. Like, why would they let you come all the way here if there's nothing up here? Like, a heart piece or anything. Okay, we're, we're venturing into a new bit. I think we've... Oh, we've gone past the way marker. Oopsie. Well, there's the rift. That's the, the Gerudo Desert, isn't it? I doubt we can do anything until we... Uh, until we go to the marker, though. Because it's all weird, really weird and blurry. Like... Why is that? What's this? Interesting. I feel like we've broken the game. We totally haven't though. But this is going to be a good way to navigate the desert, I think. Interesting. rock. Um... Yep. 
We're stealing all the rupees! This is a very... This is... This is like more exploring than... We're on the same level as Breath of the Wild, isn't it? Wow, it's like an infinite money glitch! We need to get rid of all these crows though, so we can try and get that chest. Or the rock. Okay, finally, one of them. Oh, it's a waypoint. Okay, we can fast travel to the desert now. I like not having to fight them and just setting off our own crows against it. Oh, I keep doing that. Um... Let's get our trusty bed out. Um, oh, so we can find these mite crystals under rocks and stuff. So that's interesting. to explore. There's a whole other area. It's so weird. It's like a moblin camp. Okay, back to the marker. Oh, is this just the entrance? There's nothing actually here to do. Uh, the King of Hyrule and the others might be inside different large rifts. Head to the rifts in the Gerudo Desert. Okay. Well, that's where we are. Why isn't the uh, thing changing? I guess we've just got to check out... Oh. Hold on. Gerudo Desert. Do we have to have... it? Oh, wow! Do we have to have any, like, protection from the sun or anything? This looks so cool because it is so reminiscent of Breath of the Wild's Hyrule. I'm sure that there's a rift we can get into somewhere around here, but this desert um, seems really big. I wonder where we should start looking. I guess for now we could check around the area with the biggest rift. Okay, I guess so. Oh. Get it! Get that Oh! The monsters just kept coming! I'm completely worn out! I hear you, but if we kept at it, then that big rift should start shrinking! We can do this! We can get rid of that rift and take back Gerudo Sanctum! I wouldn't bank on it. Oh, here we go! Uh, you got a warm pepper! It's a key ingredient in the Gerudo cooking, but you can't use it in its current form. Okay. This is kind of adorable little creature, actually. The Aru... Uh, Aruroda... Aruro, 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 Aruro. <laughs> Echo, sorry. My goodness. Uh, from out of the vast and the uh, trackless desert comes the one-eyed menace. It tries to get behind foes to sting them. Well, it didn't work for it this time, did it? Oh. Our town is in the west from here. You should check it out, but everyone's on edge due to the rifts. We've heard there's a lot of trouble outside the desert too, but we've got our hands full here. Yeah. Rifts have shown up all across the desert ever since the Sanctum got pulled into one. Uh, I'm still in shock about the Sanctum, but we've got to get rid of the rifts as soon as possible. Oh. The monsters that crawl out of the rifts are tough. I'm exhausted from all the fighting. Although I've been thinking, I've heard that the rift in uh, Suthon Forest is gone now. I hope the ones here in the desert get fixed up pretty soon. Okay, we can do that. Okay, the update log. I don't know if we have to do certain things to update the log. Um, so this is obviously the biggest rift. There's also a tiny little one over here. So I'm going to check that one out first. What is this area? No way in. 
Interesting. What is that? I love that we can just get everywhere. Like, it's it's always one of those things, isn't it? It's like, in any game you play, you just wish you could get area to areas you can't. And this game just allows that. Ooh, those little sand shark things. Okay, I think we're just kind of in the mountains. I don't think there's ever anything up here. It's just a quick way to get places. Wow, we're going to be able to up our energy pretty good. We're going to have to go back to the Lynx house, though, aren't we? Um... There we go, another way marker. So even if we don't get to a dungeon or anything today, we've explored a lot of the map. It looks a lot, actually, but if we zoom out, it's still not much of the map. <laughs> hey! It's not every day I see another Hylian in Gerudo Desert. If you're wondering about that tent, there's a Gerudo researching something or other over there. In there. I'm sure she could use a hand if you felt inclined. Might help you take your mind off all the rifts. Oh, I thought you were going to be selling something. Uh. No? Interesting. Yeah. Gerudo guards? That cloak! Oh, apologies uh, for my intensity. You reminds me of someone else. Uh, you see, I nearly got pulled into a rift a long time ago. At that time, a swordsman wearing a very similar cloak rescued me. He took me out of the wave after wave of monsters as they came swarming from the rift. It was quite the sight. He's actually the reason I decided to become a soldier. I wanted to be strong like him someday. Oh. If you ever get lost in the desert, make sure you check your map. There's a map, uh, the map won't do uh, you much good in the middle of a sand... Oh, you have sandstorms here as well. Oh, hey, hey! <laughs> Business scrub. Hey there, I'm a business scrub. Welcome to my branch of the smoothie shop. This is a place where you can craft your own freezing, taste bud pleasing smoothies. The process is simple. You pick two ingredients and blend them together. Oh no, I'm not good at cooking. Uh, let's get, uh, get to it ready to make smoothie. Okay, go on then. So what should we do? I mean, should probably try something that we've got a lot of. Grapes and... Ugh, grapes and butter. Let's just try the two we've got the most of. Make smoothie. Um, this smoothie requires the ingredients plus 10 rupees. Would you like to make it? I have no idea what I'm doing here. You got it. Do we not get like a cooking pot so we can make our own? Uh, some of this, some of that, mix it all up, tins a pinch of. Alrighty. I'm just imagining the cooking tune now from Breath of the Wild. What do we get? Oh, we got something good, I think. A refreshing mixed smoothie. Oh, wow. Five. What does that mean? Five hearts there or five inner hearts. Uh, a mix of flavors. Okay, I think we did okay. That's a slow way to cook smoothies. I've added the recipe to the menu so you'll be able to order the same thing next time. Uh, which actually gave me an idea. My siblings and I are new to the smoothie game. And to keep your uh, hold over the market, we're opening branches all over Hyrule. What a funny thing to do, open a business when the world's in crisis and covered in rifts. Uh, but that's been so much work, we haven't had time to come up with new smoothie concepts. So, what would you say to a joint venture? You make recipes, we handle the business side. Come up with 10 recipes out of the ingredients from your travels and we shall be in good shape. We'll even throw in a reward. Okay, what's the reward? Uh, we're sending ingredients to our local regions in the main shop back home. If you run into any of my siblings, give them my best, okay? Okay, I want to make some more. Smoothie. Let's just try something else. We've got an apple and... Wait, can we do like... Oh, it's just two ingredients. Okay. That's good. If limiting it to two ingredients is manageable. Uh, your smoothie. Oh, that looks like a nice one as well. I'm sure at some point we're going to make an absolute terrible one. Oh, lightning proof. One minute. Wow, there's so many. There literally is like taking things from. Uh, I know I keep saying it, but for me, there's so much new to Zelda in Breath of the Wild, and they've just ported that over to this, haven't they? Um, we've only got one warm pepper, so I'm going to keep that for now. Let's try some floral nectar and some rock salt. It looks like we got loads of rupees from those crows as well. Oh no, I think it's a terrible one. An unfortunate smoothie. <laughs> uh, it's a bit chunky and smells kind of weird, but it's uh, technically still a smoothie. Oh dear. 
So re at least it recovers some energy in one half a heart. Probably not worth what we put in. So what was that? So maybe this isn't a good for a smoothie making. Let's try this and some but Ugh, butter and grapes. That can't be a good smoothie, can it? Um, let oh, we've only got one of those. What's this? A rock-tato. Actually, let's do a rock-tato and some butter. That sounds like a good smoothie. Maybe. I don't know. That actually sounds pretty disgusting. Maybe it's like a baked potato with some butter on that. Might be nice. But it's not really a smoothie then, is it? Oh, it made something! You got mixed climbing smoothie. Okay. Wow, wall climbing speed. We can climb walls? What? The richness... I was joking earlier when I said that spider would help us climb walls. The richness of this movie's flavor is only matched by its complexity. Wow. Okay, well... I think we'll come back here later and, and spam some recipes. Can we open this chest? Oh, nice! A chili cactus. Where, where, where? Okay, I don't know, no. <laughs> Are you a fortune teller? Oh, just muttering to myself. Sorry about that. I'm Tamale. And Oasis, Oasis was the word I was trying to think of a minute ago. This is the like a little Oasis from uh, other high rules. Uh, an Oasis guard. Guarding this Oasis is my main priority, but we've been tasked with another mission recently. I take you not from here, are you? What well, gave that away? <laughs> In which case, you might be able to help me. In your travels, have you ever seen tiles that can fl uh, fly through the air? According to my boss's research, ancient Gerudo used them to chase off unwelcome guests. I've been scouring the desert in search of these tiles, but so far, nothing. I saw one earlier, I think. Maybe you have better luck, though. If you find one, could you bring it to me? Okay, well, I think there's one back over... I think we saw one here somewhere, didn't we? <laughs> Let's see what's inside. Ooh. Wow, what's this? Cool. Curious about my fan? I'd be willing to part with it if you come talk to me about something else first. Okay. Yeah. Um, hello there, Wanderer. Welcome to the Tough Mango Plant Lab. Here at the lab, we research effective cultivation in preparation for potential food crises. Uh, my current field of study is focused on tough mangoes. After much research, I've successfully developed tough mango seeds that grow at a rapid rate. Sharing the results of my work should help countless people in the future. There's just one problem. The mango plant withers as quickly as it grows, so I'm unable to harvest fast enough. I can't compile data if I can't harvest properly. At this rate, I'll run out of funding of my project. In response, I began enlisting folks to help with a little game of Mango Rush. You can easily harvest the mangoes with a bit of force from like a spin. There's a participation fee up front, but I've got a gift for you if you harvest a lot of them. Would you like to give it a try? Oh, mini game! Nice! Uh, I'll need 10 rupees for your participation fee. Okay. Great, head downstairs to the field and wait for me. Yeah, I get the feeling we're not getting to a dungeon anytime today. <laughs> mangoes can be harvested with a bit of, bit of force, but too much, they'll burn up. Okay, if you'd like to have... Whoa, 40 or more mangoes! If you do, I'll get something to take home. Okay. My goodness, what are we gonna... I don't know what they look like. They just pop up out of the lines, or what? Get them! I'm just gonna guess where they're gonna go next. We're doing okay for guessing-wise. Oh, we missed one, I think. Get there quickly! Okay, they don't stay there for long, do they? What a science! Get it! Where are we at? 39, 43... Oh no! Oh, I think we got every single one! Did we? Or did we miss some and they just spawned some more? Well done, I thoroughly imp I'm thoroughly impressed. You managed to harvest them all. Thank you for helping me gather. That was actually really fun and satisfying. Uh, valuable data, please take a bunch of tough mangoes. I bet they're going to make some good smoothies, as long as you can blend the tough mangoes. Oh, it can be used to recover hearts, is, I think it said. Uh, uh, you're the first to harvest so superbly. Uh, she's good, real good. Maybe she can even handle the extra dangerous seeds. So I actually have some vibrant seeds that yield even larger harvests. Uh, I have them shelved, but I'll make an exception for you if you want to see them next time. 
Come harvest whenever you like. I'll be here waiting. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Hello there. Would you like to play some mango rush? Yes, please. We've got type of seeds. Vibrant seeds. Okay. Vibrant seeds cost you 10 rupees. Okay, I don't know how fast this is going to go. Oh. You see sprout sharp thorns, but I'm sure you have no trouble harvesting. If you'd like to harvest 50 or more mangoes, if you do, I'll give you some to take home. Okay, so we have to find out for the thorns, I'm guessing. So thorns come at a later date, do they? Ooh, I see. Sneaky. So sometimes the thorns come first. Oh, how do we get up there? Oh, we missed three. That's annoying. If I'd have known that, I'd have laid a bed earlier. Oh no, we're going to miss them. Oh no. I feel like 50 would have been something to get to take home. Mm, unfortunate. Then again, you been uh, you haven't been assigned as long. Come back. Oh, what? You have to get all of them to get a reward. Oh, we couldn't learn this echo. A double bed, is it? You've learned a soft bed echo. Uh, it's easy to just close your eyes and drift away on this soft, well-maintained bed. Oh, does that probably do your hearts quicker, maybe? That could be useful. Uh, curious about my fan? Uh, back before I was in deep into my research, I was a pretty serious dancer. I won that gold fan there by placing first in a dance competition uh, judged by elegant... Uh, what does that say? Vitrero. Uh I'll be willing to part with it if you help me out with my rank mango rush. Oh, so we have to part with it. We have to do all 60. Okay, we'll give it one more go. Vibrant seeds. I think that's the prize for 60 seeds, isn't it? Probably. Oh. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna lay a bed first. Oh no! Oh! Sneaky, it's getting rid of the beds! Oh, they go in the same place! Interesting. We're doing okay. We got them all! That was so satisfying! Oh. Exquisite! I didn't think you'd be able to harvest so many from those seeds, though I'd seen your potential. So thank you, I'd give you my golden fan. I got it a long time ago from a dancing tournament. You can't cherish it that much if you're just going to give it away. What does it do? Just holding this glimmering fan made with golden feathers makes you feel glamorous. <laughs> Not only that, but you harvest everything. You're incredibly skilled. Well then, I was able to gather extremely valuable data thanks to you. Here's a bonus gift. <laughs> nice. You got three mighty crystals and use them to enhance Larbury's home. Please take the tough mangoes you harvest as well. <laughs> Nice! What does the fan do though? Is it just like a collectible? I bet she's capable of harvesting the special ones too. Sure, it's risky, but those can be uh, those can be avoided, right? You have uh, stoked the flame that burns in my wee researcher's soul. This is uh, nowhere near the true potential of tough mangoes. I'm going to develop something even more amazing. It may take a little time though. Uh, come harvest whenever you like. I'll be here waiting for you. Okay, I guess there's another level of mangoes at some point. Hey there, little kitty. Meow. Nice. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. We have to talk first. Interesting. Look at this little scent thing as well. Cute detail. Right. Let's see what this thing does. Is it a key item? Oh, there's like special spaces for them. A glimmering fan made with golden feathers. Just holding it makes you feel glamorous. What does it do? Is it just like a trophy? Just to say that I did it? I was hoping it was going to give us ability, like, you know, the, the thing that we find, the hairpin. Right, before we head to the rift, I want to go and see... Oh, interesting. I thought that was... I thought we could uh, clone that, but we can't. I 
think we saw something over here that was... Yeah, this. What is this? Hey! Oh, I thought this was a tile that would fl fly you in the air, but... Uh-oh. I can hear some horses! Oh no, it's a parachute! Oh, maybe that is it then. Yeah. Hello, I'm the stamp guy. Uh, what is this, a stamp rally? <laughs> I've loved stamps since I was tiny tot. Now I'm Hyrule's uh, hugest stamp fan. But you're curious about this stand. This is a stamp stand, a stamp for stamping stamps. Aren't stamps great? They pl uh, plunk when you press one down. So leave a little stamp behind. Plucktacular, plunktacular. From start to finish, that's why I love stamp a stamp rally. Oh, cool. Traveling for stamps, collecting them all. Sounds fun, right? Well, I've created a stamp rally with stamp stands all over Hyrule. Ready to rally? I bet you are ready, uh, a rally, rally, rally excited. Nintendo love a joke, a wordplay joke, don't they? Yeah, you are. Okay, here's your stamp card. Nice. It's like the ones in uh, the museum stamp rally. It's a big thing in Japan, isn't it? Uh, you got the first stamp card. This stamp card is for Stamp Rally Beginners. Uh, I It was handmade by the stamp guy and it looks like it. <laughs> uh, I know you're going to have fun because I had fun making it. Now get to stamping like you've never stamped before. There we go. <laughs> what was that stamp? Great work, what a stamp. Uh, look for stamps like this all over the world and get every stamp. Uh, but hey, there aren't any stands underwater or in buildings. And they're not in caves either. That would be way too dangerous for my taste. I'll give you a reward if you fill up that stamp card with stamps. Uh, push yourself to find them. Well, that was barely obvious. It wasn't like up where we were earlier, higher in the mountains and cliffs. All together now, ready, set, go stamp rally. Nice. Well, that's not what I thought it was. Here's another rift. Okay. Oh, a cave. Whoa, is that one? Of, what is that? Oh, what's happened? Oh! Okay, we need something like this. If it- oh! Oh my goodness, look at Zelda's face! If in doubt, set it on fire! That is creepy! Nothing is destroying this thing. Wait, are those? Wait, did the crow? Uh, those own crows give us our own crows give us uh, more rupees? What? Or they our own? Oh my goodness! I can't move every time that thing shrieks. What are we going to use to take it out? That is terrifying! There we go, we got it! Wow, that is scary! You learned the re-dead echo! Oh, a re-dead. Endlessly wandering the Gerudo Desert, this unsettling creature screams and freezes enemies in their... Uh, in their tracks. I wonder if it's gonna be... Uh, does it do it to other enemies? I guess not. Oh, it kind of worked. Get it! Hit it! Why are you backing off, Moblin? Uh, I'm trying to get this... Uh... Oh, no. Oh, this scorpion! Leave me alone! Moblin, protect me! Get it! There we go. This is so hard to aim. I want to aim on the chest. It keeps auto aiming to the enemies. There we go. We got the chest out in the end. Wow, that was tricky because it just kept auto aiming to the enemies. 
We've got some more chili cactus. tell if we're getting free rupees here or if we're spilling our own rupees. Wow, we've been playing 45 minutes. We haven't done anything yet. Sand Piranha Echo. Uh, vigorous and quick, this fish-like creature swims through sand with ease. It cannot survive in water, however. Interesting. Okay, so we've checked all the other rifts and there's no way in yet. Oh, it's another one of those screaming things. Just stay away from that. That was a bit easier because there's no enemies around auto aiming on. 20 rupees there, nice. Oh, there's a way marker over here. Leave us alone, leave us be. Oh, we're not even near it and it's affecting us. Okay, I can't find the entrance to this. It's funny how we're only using kind of the first... Uh... Only using the first lot of echoes, really, aren't we? Oh, we're stopped. What's happening? We found an entrance. Try. Huh? My friends are nearby. What? Where did you go? Is there? Do we have to dig down? Is there a cave there? I can create a rift entrance beneath here. Come on, Zelda. Okay. Oh, you can't come with me, can you? So what should we do? Hmm. I don't know, maybe get dig dig down? We could try talking to her. Maybe she knows a way we can get through the sand. Okay, yeah, we need to make some sort of tool, I think. <laughs> uh, hey, you're not a Gerudo. What do you want? Uh, to get through the sand? Oh, no, you aren't getting past me. Only those authorized by the chief are allowed entry. Now, go home. I don't think she's going to move. There must be a secret entrance somewhere. Ugh. What was that? Is someone hurt? I, I have to stay at my post, otherwise I'd go and see what's going on. What's going on? We can help. Is she okay? She will be after we've defeated this thing. Bats, get them! Okay, we destroyed the enemies. I think we saved them. Ah, uh, what happened? The monsters! Th they're gone! Uh, did you defeat them for me? Uh. It seems uh, they pose no threat to you, and yet I, a seasoned warrior, couldn't handle them. Thank you, you saved my life. No problem. We try our best, you know. Ah, I suppose I should introduce myself. I'm Dona, the captain of the Gerudo Warriors. What's your name? I don't suppose you could get us past that guard over there. We need to, we need to investigate the cave. Nice to meet Zelda. So what brings you out this way? Why would no one twig that it's Princess Zelda? How many Zeldas are in Hyrule? Hmm, I see, I see. You're traveling around fixing rifts, huh? We should probably have a different name to disguise ourselves even more. You're fixing rifts? Part of my shock is just that rifts have been causing us serious trouble lately. We heard that taking care of the monsters would also take care of the rifts, but it hasn't. The rifts haven't gotten any smaller and the monsters keep coming without end, it seems. If we could rid ourselves of these cursed rifts, then nobody else would end up getting hurt. Hey, Zelda, do you think she might know how to get under the sand? Is everything alright, Zelda? 
Well, you see, we need to dig down a sensible way so we don't, you know, get buried with the sand, which is absolutely terrifying thought. You want to burrow under the sand? Hmm, well, Sanctum is beneath us. Oh, I understand now. You think you can get rid of the uh, the rift if you get into the Sanctum? <gasps> Normally, the entrance to the Sanctum is where we're standing, but as you've probably noticed, it's flooded with sand now, so nobody can get inside. <gasps> if you want to get inside the Sanctum, we'd first need to clear out the entrance. Um, why is it blocked up? The Sanctum was poured into a large rift. After that, tons of monsters began swarming out at the entrance to the Sanctum. To the point we blocked up the entrance, trapping the monsters inside. If you want to get in the sanctum, we first need to clear out the entrance. Ooh. A soldier is guarding the back entrance. If we, How's the back entrance? If we go through there, we could clear out the, uh, the sand out. Of course, doing that would release the monsters as well. Our chief gave orders to keep it blocked for safety, so I'm not sure how to proceed. Ooh. If you want to get into the sanctum, we first need to clear it. I see. Ah. In order to get rid of the rift, you need to get into the sanctum, right? Yes. I thought, we're getting around in circles here. What's going on? Understood. Oh. Well then, it sounds like we need to discuss things with the chief. You saved my life, so I'll do all I can to help you. And if you're able to get rid of the rift, that means our warriors won't be injured anymore. Let's just meet at the uh, palace in Gerudo Town. It's just northwest of here. Normally only Gerudo are allowed in that place, but I'll put a word in there ahead of time. Alright, Zelda, I'll be waiting for you. I've never understood in games why when you're both going to somewhere, like they always run off. <laughs> Um, but at this point, I think I'm just going to quickly scan some amiibo. I want to see if the ones from yesterday scan the same ones. So we'll do the, the Link's Awakening link first. Radiant Butter, is that what we got yesterday? I think it was what we got yesterday, wasn't it? Um, and then we got some... Oh, Electro Apples, yeah. These are two Zelda amiibos. And this one... Oh, Fresh Milk, that is different. Okay, so it is random. Nice, I'm sure we can make some milk smoothies. Just wanted to check that while we were here. Um, okay, so we need to get yep. over here yep. Yep. somehow. Yep. 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 It is really cool. I actually really like it. Some people are saying it's quite tedious having to navigate it this way, but I actually really like Making your way around like an endless area. Uh, so we're heading, oh, we're heading to the actual uh, Gerudo Desert Village. That's so cool because it even looks like the ones we already know, doesn't it? Um, okay, let's jump down and see what we've got. We're heading the long way around. We're going to open up this map first. There we go. Maybe there's some stamps over here or other... Um, echoes. We just want to explore a little bit. We're not in a rush necessarily to get the story done. I'm sure you could not necessarily speed run this game, but I'm sure you could do a lot. Um, just, oh. Just by going through the story as quickly as possible. Um, what is over here? Some stairs. Oh. A stamp! Two in the desert. Wait, is this a desert stamp rally? Interesting. We made it to the village, I think. Okay, should we be talking to people or...? No one's questioning, like, just random furniture just being placed somewhere. Uh, you learned the Gerudo Pot Echo! A fine pot with vibrant colours to catch the eye. It is typical in Gerudo culture has uh, been for ages. Nice. What is this pot then? I love the fact that they put in you can talk to the cats. <laughs> Does it do anything? No. Was I seeing things? Oh, this might sound a little odd, but do you believe in tornado ghosts? Uh, see, I caught up with the sandstorm recently when this tornado came whirling at me. It was hard to see clearly with all the sand, but I could swear I saw a face in a tornado. That's terrifying. It must have been a ghost, but why would it be chasing me? Did I uh, anger the spirits or something? Was it real? Did I imagine it? 
If I could see it again, then I'd know for sure. Oh, sweet. So there's lots of side quests and stuff. This is pretty cool. Anything in here we can echo? Nope. Uh. The weather sure is nice there, isn't it? On days like this, I feel like I could sleep forever. There you go. Oh. There you go. Here's a bed. Uh. No. Nothing. Nothing! Not even a side quest. <laughs> Got something over here we can, uh... We can light. Uh, see the woman sitting over there? She was stolen away a long time ago. She hasn't spoken a word since. Before that, she was really lively, a real chatterbox. And she was an excellent dancer. She changed a lot since uh, those days. Rifts are really disturbing things. Can we give you the fan? To make you a dancer again? Uh, she was stolen away a long time ago. <laughs> yes, yeah, I know. You just told me. Hmm. Can we not use the... I was wondering if we could use the this somehow, but we can't select it. Can we place it in here? Ooh, a genie lamp. Wake up! How did you how did you stay asleep? Well, look at you, lovely little thing, aren't you? Lovely though you may be, you might want to build some muscle if you uh, if you'll be here long. Cheeky. We haven't got time to work out. Too many games to play. Uh, they always fall apart. Oh, Hylian, I'm impressed you made it all the way here, though, through the desert. You must be quite the explorer to come this way, which reminds me. I'm looking for these elusive tumbleweeds. Maybe you've seen them on your travels. But you can find them blowing across the sand here in Gorilla Desert. The pesky things roll out of reach, and if you try to grab one, they fall apart. The more I think about how elusive they are, the more obsessed I get. All I want is to spend my time observing one with the tumbleweeds closely. But I've managed to destroy every one I've found. My dream to observe them is so out of reach. If you bring me one of uh, my heart's desire, you'll be rewarded. Oh my goodness. So, where's the nearest tumbleweed? Oh. There's... there's oh! Oh, no! I see why it's going to be a bit of a mission. No! Oh no! We need to go in a straight line and we need to be close to it. This is tricky. Right, let's get behind it. This is gonna be so tricky. What? How do we, uh. What's the best way to do this? What if we follow it? How do we get it up the stairs? How do we get the tumbleweed up the stairs? This Is this map big enough to need a fast travel system? I know it's big, but... It's taking us... Maybe... Would it roll up the stairs by itself? Um... Yeah. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Don't catch on fire! There we go, we did it! <laughs> Our first kind of side quest I get. Oh, you brought... It's on fire! <laughs> Thank you so much, you gotta observe quickly. Ah, seeing the delicate dry foam. No, it's on fire! Explains why they tend to break so easily. No, wait, it's not dry. This this particular type of plant matter. What are those pokey bits? They're called flames. Ah, the more I look at it, the more fascinating it is. Oh, I could spend all day gazing at this beautiful, magnificent tumbleweed. My dream has come true. My wish granted. Thank you, uh, kind one. Please take these. All that for some might mighty crystals. 
Uh, they have such a peculiar shape, don't they? I hope you enjoy observing them for many hours. Oh my goodness. Well, at least we did a side quest. I train every day. Hello there, Hylian. and curious about me. I'm one of the many Gerudo soldiers. I'm off duty at the moment, but that doesn't mean I'm going to slack on my training. My confidence comes from mobility, uh, agility, sorry, and grace. Beyond my skill. Very nice. What's with the blank expression? It's almost as if you don't find me impressive. Well then, I'll prove my skill to you in hand-to-hand -hand tag. So, ready, play tag. Okay. Uh, I'll even give you something if you manage to catch me. Okay, this will be fun. Let the games begin. Okay. Do we need... I feel like we need a trampoline at the ready here. Um, Alright, I'm going to get running now. If you tag me, then you win. You even block my path if you want. Come on, let's go. Okay. So we can... Aha! <laughs> this is tricky! Ha! Huh, why so fast? Even faster than me? Impossible! We just tagged at the end there. I was concentrating so hard, sorry. <laughs> Uh, so we've got lots of side quests in, Garuda. Uh, my, my, you are indeed very capable. Your legs carry uh, you like one who has travelled across many regions. Uh, uh, you impressed me. Here you are, as promised. All that for some chilliness. Okay, Garuda training. Right, this is where we need to be. Um, I think. There's still so much to explore here, though. Oh, just some trees. More cats. Lots of cats. Can we, can we head inside? Here we go. We made it, somehow. Chief Asira, I have a report concerning the blocked up entrance to the Sanctum. As predicted, the number of monsters is dwindling. Is it? Yeah. Ah, Zelda, I've been waiting for you. Huh. Chief, this is the Hylian I was telling you about. Uh, with her help, we may be able to get rid of the giant rift here in our desert. But in order to do that, she'll need to get into the sanctum. If she can get rid of the rift, as she claims, we'll finally be done with this long battle. To this end, will you please restore the entrance to the sanctum? Captain Dona, do you comprehend what it is you're asking? If you recall, after the sanctum was consumed by the rift, a surge of monsters be began. For the town's safety, we blocked the sanctum's entrance to prevent monsters from pouring out. Since then, we've been eradicating the rest of the monsters, which will fix the rift. After that, we'll reclaim the sanctum. That was the plan. Or have you forgotten? Just let us in! <laughs> to stop it off, we've defeated countless monsters, uh, yet the rift doesn't appear to be shrinking at all. We should be acting with urgency to rid the rift as soon as possible, and Zelda can help. You can't expect us to trust a total stranger. We don't even know where she comes from. You're the chief's daughter. I'm shocked by your uh, severe lack of judgment. Oh. Peace, Fashet. Hmm. Uh, pardon my words, uh, Chief Sira, but I... Dona, I understand the concern you feel for the warriors. I feel each injury to our, our warriors as though it was my own. That said, have you seen the Hylian eradicate a rift? I... Hmm. Uh, you have only just met the stranger yourself. How can you tell us to trust her? Well, I... Chief Sira, it seems further discussion is unnecessary. Now is not the time to be entering strangers, uh, uh, entertaining strangers in their claims. Take off your hood, Zelda. I will prove what Zelda is saying is true. You'll be wasting your time. This Hylian is clearly deceiving you. What, what, what do we have? What goal do we have by getting in there? Like, what do, we, what do we get out of it? She saved my life. How dare you speak of her like that? I trust Zelda and I will prove that she can get the rift, rid of the rifts. Yes, we'll do it by ourselves. No matter how many monsters they fight, the rift isn't going to go away on its own. Uh, Dona is correct about this, so why won't they help uh, trust us? Okay, so I guess... We, oh, another room. Yeah. Just battling, I think. Oh, this is the training area. <laughs> Yes, that's what you get for not trusting me. You there, Hylian! Yes? 
Captain Doha left a message for you on her way out. She mentioned that she's heading to the Oasis and she'd like you to join her there. To get to the Oasis, head due east where you leave town. You can't miss it. That's all she shared for you. Okay. Anything in here? Oh, we got some stuff in here. Oh. The Gruner sandals, traditional desert sandals. They prevent the wearer from sinking in quicksand. Oh, I wish we had enough. Um, lots of stuff here. What's this one? A red potion. We'll buy another red potion. We don't really need it, but they're going to be good for boss fights because we can just heal in the uh, stuff. Can we sell some stuff? We can just heal in the bed, I mean. I'd like to sell. We can sell anything we get from Amiibo, basically. Let's sell some butters. And we want the Gerudo sandals. I'm sure we're going to encounter some quicksand at some point, so we may as well buy them now, right? Um, so we'll put them on. You can't wear more accessories right now. Oh, so not just replace the one. There we go. So we shouldn't sink in quicksand. We have our sandals on. It's very handy. This place is huge. Oh, look at all the cats. Uh, since the rift appears, we warriors have been fighting non-stop resting in shifts. I'm off duty today, but I might do a quick patrol on the walk. Pitch in a bit more. Uh, Facet is so uptight lately. Lately, I know she's scary. Uh, scary now. She used to be so nice. Do you mind? I'm talking to my cat, not you. Oh, rude. Maybe I won't save Gerudo Desert. Okay, I just want to check all the buildings before we leave for the oasis. Oh, this is a nice little area. Nothing much in there though. Did we go in this one? I can't remember. What is in here? This is cool as well. Okay, I think we checked everywhere. Did we go in this one? I think we went in that one. Okay, let's head to the... Uh... the oasis wait was the oasis better check where it is oh the oasis was oh it would have been quicker to go the other way oh well run Okay, we made it! This is cool! I like just walking around talking to people. Uh, so none of the rifts are shrinking yet, I see. Thank you for your report. Go get some rest before returning to the patrol the rifts. Ooh. Thanks for coming, Zelda. Let's talk over here. Okay, just admiring the oasis. Ah. Uh, the water is so beautiful, don't you think? This place holds many memories for me. The chief, uh, my mother, used to play here with me when I was little. She would tell me to look at the serene water to keep my mind and heart calm like the water. Uh, Facet took up my training. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, took my training rather than my mother because mother was busy as chief. Uh, Facet trained the others too. Thanks to her and her mother, we are the Gerudo you see today. I have so much respect for both of them, but I can't stand by and watch things get worse. Give us your sword and step aside. <laughs> I believe you can fix the rift, Zelda. So I wonder how we can prove to my mother and Facet um, how you're being honest. Aside from the big rift in the Sanctum, there are also three small rifts elsewhere in the desert. I'd like for you to see if you can get rid of any of them. Uh, they're in the southern Oasis Ruins, Ancestors Cave of Rest, and the southern Gerudo Desert. Want to know more? Asus Ruins? I received reports about monsters coming out of the rifts near the ruins south of here. Some of my soldiers were dispatched to deal with them. I want to know more. No thanks. We, we've we've seen them, I think. We've actually passed them. I trust you, Zelda. If you get rid of a rift, I'm sure the chief will trust you too. Come talk to me again if you need more info on the rifts. Okay, so... 
Yeah, so these are the little rifts. We've already um, basically... Is that not one of them as well? We've already uh, closed... Uh, already visited two of them, so... So yeah, I think we'll stay at the Oasis and recoup and uh, <laughs> maybe explore a little bit here before heading off to the desert. Because I don't think we're going to get anything done soon. I thought we might at least get to the next dungeon. But I think before that happens, we're going to have to close the little rifts and then go back to the Gerudo town to get approval. Uh, wait, is there another one here maybe? Oh, the Rift in the Desert. We've got another bit of desert to explore. So I guess in the next episode, we're going to carry on and then eventually make it to the next dungeon. But we've got to go through the little rifts first so this one this one and this one uh so yeah really fun just exploring i like just walking around seeing what we find finding the stamps is really cool and of course just exploring and enjoying the the, the art style and it's very cute so much detail here uh so yeah it's been really fun i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching of course and a huge shout out goes to the channel members that makes all this possible i couldn't do it without you so thank you so much for your generosity and your support and to keep this channel going. I really, really appreciate it. If you're not a member yet, please consider joining the channel uh, for as little as uh, like a cup of coffee a month. And it just helps us guarantee daily uploads uh, of Animal Crossing, Zelda and other Nintendo games. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.